In Adobe XD, there are many different types of apps you can create, and I want to point out this tutorial that you can access from the start screen, but I'm going to be creating a simple multi-screen app for iPhone. So I'm selecting that option. XD opens with an artboard of that size, and we can double click the artboard title to rename that artboard to Splash. Now, since this artboard's selected, I can see the properties for the selected item on the right, and I can change the fill color, for instance, to a nice blue in this case. Now, when it comes to creating, we can use any of the tools on the left. Now, I'm gonna create an app uh, that's all about exploring, so I need to create a map icon. So I'm gonna start with a simple ellipse, and if I hold on the Shift key, I can constrain it to be a perfect circle, which is what I want. And I can use the selection tool to move it into place. And actually what I get is I get these guides here so I can center it vertically. Also, when we're navigating around the artboard, we can zoom in and out using the zoom tool or use the shortcuts shown in the view menu. That's command plus and minus to zoom in and out or control on windows. And then holding down the space bar will allow you to pan around the artboard because what I need to do now is I want to edit graphics and to edit any graphic really in XD is you can just double click on it. Now notice how I have access to all the BZA points to modify, or I can just double click on it to make it a sharp point. I can also reposition it anywhere as well. And I want to punch a hole in the shape uh, by really creating another circle on top, holding down the option key will draw from the center. Now I'm going to select both and then just select subtract. In the previous video, we designed a basic exploring app with graphics, images, and elements from a UI kit. And I've also added a detail screen here. But what we wanna do now is wire up these screens to create an interactive prototype. So we start by selecting prototype here. Now, first notice the home icon. This basically says that uh, this screen is gonna be the screen the prototype starts with. But from there, if I can select it, I can add an interaction to it. And in this case, I actually want to select the entire artboard. Now notice this blue arrow, this is called a trigger, and I can take that trigger and point it to any screen that I want. And if you want to remove a trigger, you can just drag it off and it will remove it. Because I actually want this splash screen to link to the places screen. Next up is just to select the transition that I want. I want to select slide left so the places screen slides over the splash screen. And we can also connect elements that might be nested inside of other elements, like this repeat grid, for instance. Uh, clicking on it once will select it, but if you double click it, you can select the elements inside, like this Tokyo Tower uh, element or graphic, and then I can point that directly to the map screen and it will link the two together. And notice when I link it up, it remembers the last transition selected. Now to go back, we can select this back arrow and point it back to the places screen and change the transition to the opposite, which would be slide right. Then I can select this icon and point it back to the splash screen with the same transition. Now here's the fun part, testing the interaction. So we can just use this desktop preview button right here. And sure enough, notice how we can navigate between these three screens with the transitions that we've selected. In the previous video, we prototyped an exploring app. Here it is with some additional places, but now we're gonna share our prototype with others for feedback and testing, as well as previewing the experience on mobile devices. Now to start, we can just open up the sharing dialog in the top right of XD, and I can select publish prototype. From there, I can just give it a title like exploring app. I'm gonna allow comments, and I wanna show the hotspot hints. Then I can create a public link. Once you have that public link, you can share it with others. And when others open this link, they'll see the prototype, they'll be able to interact with it. And notice how if they happen to click in an area that's not active, well, the hotspot hints are shown. 